this is Captain K here with another Doge House Reviews. Josh, what we got right now? We got another Petru Spear. It's the Ode Prune. It won the World's Best Specialty Pale Ale 2011. It's from Flanders in Belgium. It's 7.3%. All right, And it's supposed to be pretty good. It's won an award. So. <laughs> let's get a look at this bottle. The we had read it earlier, and it was awesome. I don't care what you guys say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a cherry, cherry Phonetic. I give it a 10. I know, that's the first 10 on Dojo. First 10, probably the last, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, let's see how it Let's find out. Yeah, so there's a very light color. Let's find out. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. I'm going to get a color of that. Oh, that smells delicious, too. Oh, my God, it smells like apples. We got, like, a light, is it like a Pilsner color, sort of? Yeah, you know it kind of is, but the head's a little bit different than it would be on a Pilsner. It's, like, pure white. And it smells incredible. Yeah, it smells like oh the, my uh, God. the Palm Lambic from uh, Merchant of Inn, kind of. Oh, man, that's good. That is good. So the award was uh, well-merited. Yes. It's somewhere between a Flemish Sour yet again and a Lambic. Apple, to start with, a really, really tart apple finish. Almost like a lemon. Like Almost. A lemon, like citrus. Like apple and citrus is what I'm getting here. Apple and citrus. And you can very, very smell. tart. Very tart. Um... I'd say it tastes a lot like if you mix like a apple lambic with a with a Duchess de Bourgogne. It kind of reminds me of cider almost. There's that going on too. I so love the it. apple flavoring. I love this. This is very good. This brewery has never ceased to impress me. So the uh, Belgians, the Belgians, they're doing pretty good over there. They're, they have the most complex beers I've ever had. Okay, well, let, let's have Jar try and have Drew try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah let, let's try it. Jar try it first. Is it? It, just smell it first. And let me know if you want to try that or not. It's different. That's different. Not it's not Dos Equis. But, uh, right, here, here let me have a swig of that. Let me, uh... The smell is nice. Very, oh, man. Very nice smell. Yeah, very tart. Apples and lemon, that's what I'm getting. Apples and lemon. Maybe like a little bit of honey. I'm not a fan of lambic, so this isn't going to be a really great one for me, but it smells nice, so it starts off good, but... Mm. You know, the sour tartness of the apple and the lemon, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if it's for me, but um, the smell is nice. I'll give it that. I'll definitely give it that. Yeah, it's kind of like, a, almost like an apple jolly rancher, kind of, almost. Yeah, yeah. Slightly. Yeah, for sure. Love those Belgian beers. So, overall yeah, impressions. Intoxicating. intoxicating. So, you guys are definitely into the. Uh, you know what it kind of reminds me like, It was like, almost like an apple cider vinegar thing going on. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was. Kind of, it probably tastes like that. Too. This this is one of those more advanced beers where you really have to acquire the palate for it. Uh, Drew here, of course, has not acquired a palate for this kind of thing. It's so. kind of pricey. I think this is $11 a six pack. Yeah, so you got that. And then also. It takes a bit for you to start to like these things, but you well, adapt, I on guess. On the flip side, I think somebody that doesn't like beer would, once again, possibly, oh, yeah, for sure. possibly yeah. enjoy that. Because, I mean, it's over 7% alcohol. It's got quite a Yeah, tell them that, hey, if you like those uh, stupid Seagram's, whatever yeah. they're called. <laughs> Escapes. Escapes, yeah. Then, hey. Barnaby and James. Yeah. Max Hard Lemonade, anything like that. That's significantly better. It's not going to make you throw up in the morning. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's, you wake up really it smells good. Out. Really dried out, and from experience. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get a score. What do you think? That's another ten for me. Another ten. Another oh goodness! 10. Oh goodness! Nine and a half tastes like Dutch de Burgoyne. And that's in my book. Dude, that's delicious. Don't look at me like that. For for me, you just haven't adapted yet. You got to uh, you got to adapt and overcome. Okay, well, Jar, J- what do you give that one? What, what's your score <laughs> on that one? I'm going to go with 6.5. 6.5? Ooh, wow, you're so generous. I'm going to go with 4.5. I was not <laughs> impressed. It was, uh, the smell is the only reason I got a 4.5. It probably would have got a 3 for me. If you it... ever ate Warheads when you were a kid? Yes, yes, I ate Warheads, but, uh, I mean. Yeah, that's that's very similar. That's a good way to pin it. That's what, but that's what War, Warheads got really tasty and sweet after you ate it. That's going to stay sour the whole time know, you drink it. I'm pretty happy right now. Yeah. I can totally pair this with, like, you know, kind of almost like, like a lemony, like, chicken. Like, yeah, like chicken. Yeah, like some of the citrus. Like ch- Chinese food. Go good with Chinese food. Yeah, probably would go good with Chinese food, actually, depending on the dish. Yeah. So there's your pairing tip for the week. Yes, Chinese food. Like, uh, like tropical food. Tropical food. 
So cheap Chinese food. It's really funny because Belgium is anything but tropical, but this would totally go with the tropical food. I, mean, I drink this on dessert island, you know. I drink this every day if I could, but I'm broken out. I can't wait for that. Well. That was a very interesting review, and uh, I guess we'll come back. Was, I guess it was a little bit more spread. So we got what a ten, and a, was yeah, it? Yeah, both the highest and the lowest. Lowest, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was very decisive, yeah. But I think these uh, lambics are going to be really decisive, you know. So I mean, some people like them, some people don't, and uh, that's just how it's going to be. But anyways, that's another Dojo House reviews, guys. Uh, check back in for more.